Hey guys, this is Shabani. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to achieve this 90s glam makeup and hair look. It's all about browns, grunge, some glitter, a lot of fun. So, let's get into it. Alright, so since I have pigmentation and scars, I'm going to use the Mama Earth Bye Bye Blemishes Face Cream. So, I'm just working this cream into my skin. Next, I'm going to use an eye cup Prep Me Up Face Primer. Just gonna need a pea size amount to apply it over wherever I have pores and also the areas that tend to get oily during the day. Next, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Gonna blend that all over my face and my neck. This is a full on full coverage foundation. So, yeah, I'm not gonna need much of a concealer, although I will be actually using a concealer just to highlight my face a little bit. But this does the job in concealing everything. Next, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer as an eye primer. Today, I'm going to use the Morphe 35 O eyeshadow palette using that muted orange eyeshadow and a blending brush. I'm going to blend that all across my crease. Next, I'm just going to mix in two of those warm brown eyeshadows and I'm going to blend that on the inner and outer corners of my eyelid. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to extend that into my crease. And to deepen up the look, I'm going to mix those two deeper browns and place them on the extreme outer and inner corner of the eyelid, making sure to keep it really blended out. Next, I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I'm using the gold inside of it and I'm going to create like a halo eye. And initially, I kept the gold section really thin but later you'll see me broadening it out. And next, I'm adding the pack gold glitter over it. I really wanted to add glitter as I remember some pop sensations like Britney Spears. Uh, they almost like had this requirement to be shining as bright as possible. So yeah. Then I'm using a casual pencil to tight line and I'm also going to place that on my lower line just on the outer and inner corners of it. Okay, now I'm just broadening out the golden portion of my eyelid. And then I'm adding the same golden liner and glitter below my eyes in the center portion too. Next, I'm adding a coat of mascara to my upper and lower lashes. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. To complete the eye look, I'm going to add back M75 lashes. So I really wanted to wear brown lenses for this look but I forgot to earlier so I did it now. And oh my gosh, my eyes are literally into a mess. Next, I'm going to use a lighter concealer to just highlight my face. So I'm going to highlight below my eyes, the sides of my nose, the center of my forehead and my chin. And just blending all of this out with a damp Real Techniques blender. And now that I look like a white ghost, I'm going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette using the darker brown shades. I'm going to just like warm up my entire face, going to contour with it. Then I'm using the Peach Blusher from Bart and Doris and just blending that on my cheeks upwards. To complete this look, I'm going to use Colourpop in shade K all over my lips. This shade is stunning. This is a Sivana Shimmer Brick and I'm going to add this to the highest points of my cheekbones, to the inner corner of my eyes and also below the arch of my brow. I'm also going to add a little bit of the banana powder to just set my concealer in place. I forgot to do that earlier so I'm doing it right now. 
Finally, just gonna spray some pack micro finish makeup fixer all over my face to just set everything in. Let's get to the hair, so I'm starting off by just brushing it all out and that's my little boy who always wants to photobomb me in my videos and I usually just edit it out but this one was just so cute. Look at that, look at that little naughty monster. So at this point I couldn't find a tail comb so I'm just going to use my pencil to create the side parting above my brows. So I'm going to go straight up and then I'm going to go sideways so that we have this box section right down till my ears. Now leaving the box section we just created in the front, I'm going to take the rest of my hair and put it all up tight into a high ponytail. We will fix the ponytail in a bit but I'm going to spray the section that we created and I'm going to neatly smoothen it out and take it below the ponytail and secure it down there. So just securing the side swept hair with some U-pins. Needed some more U pins, so I got up to search for them, and guess what? I came back finding U pins and my tail comb. So, always happens to me, not even surprising anymore. It just can be annoying. But yeah, this is the comb you actually need, not a pencil. Also, I'm really bad with hairstyles, but I'm trying, so I'm just securing my hair neatly. I'm gonna spray it in a bit. Now using a hair straightener, I am going to take sections and straighten it inwards but I'm not going to put too much of effort in making sure that my hair is pokey straight because 90s was all about the effortless straight hair, not pokey straight. So yeah, but I'm just making sure to pull it all inwards. I also took a section from a ponytail to just cover the rubber band with it so that it looks much more neater. Just giving my hair some finishing touches with a hairspray. And that's about it here. We have the 90s makeup and hair glam. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications too. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.